What's up? I'm Patrick Sean, and in this video, I'm going to be revisiting my most popular painting series, which are my slashed paintings. This series involves painting two canvas, cutting one open, and then mounting them together to create a new image. So when I'm done, you'll be able to see both paintings. I don't do these very often because it's kind of a stressful process to cut open a finished painting. I mean, so many different things could go wrong with this project. I could have the characters lined up wrong so you don't see them clearly. The cut in the canvas could be off or tear farther than I want it to. So I have to make sure that I plan every detail of these paintings. And what I have planned for this project is a painting of the Green Ranger cut open to reveal Lord Draken, which is really exciting because I'll be at the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo so I could possibly get this signed by Jason David Frank. That's gonna be in three days, so if I'm gonna do this, I've gotta to get to work. I'm gonna get started by sketching out my concept in Procreate, which is such an amazing tool. If you watch any other artist on YouTube, you're probably already familiar with it because practically every artist uses it. I can sketch directly in Procreate, or I can draw out my design on paper, bring it into Procreate, and keep working on it. I have the ability to manipulate lines in ways that you can't do on paper, and if what I'm doing doesn't look good, I just hit undo and keep moving. But what I love most is that I can play with colors, which means I can take the guesswork out of seeing which colors are gonna play well together and which ones aren't quite working. So it gives me the ability to plan my painting projects in much more depth and detail than I could before. Now that I've got my sketches done, I can get them sent over to the printer and we can line them up on the canvas. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I need to make sure that the sketches are lined up right where they need to be and that they're the right size. I'll need Lord Draken in the center of the smaller canvas, which means I'll want the Green Ranger off center to the right so that I can cut the left side of the larger canvas and then you can see both characters clearly. All right, my sketches are looking great, but before I transfer them, I wanna paint the background. The reason I wanna paint the background first is because it's gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna look a lot better if I paint the background before I transfer. Otherwise, I could end up with odd brush strokes around the character, and I don't want that. And I want to paint an abstract background for these paintings so the main focus is on the characters. There's already going to be a lot going on with the canvas being ripped open and being able to see another character through the canvas. So I don't want a really busy background. Also, an abstract background is really going to work to my advantage since I don't have a lot of time for this project anyway. All right, so now that I've got my background painted and dry, it's time to transfer my sketch onto the canvas. I like to use what's called graphite paper or transfer paper. Graphite paper is this amazing product that you lay down on your surface. Then you apply pressure to the graphite and it transfers onto your canvas. I use masking tape to hold the transfer paper and my sketch onto the painting while I trace over it. Then what I end up with is a nice clean transfer of my sketch and I can use that as a guide while I paint this character. For this painting, I'll be using an art style I haven't done in a long time. I'll be using various shades of green for the highlights and shadows. Then I'll blend them together. So what I'll do is fill in these empty blocks first, kind of like a color fill in Procreate. Then I'm gonna go in between them with a mixture of two colors before they dry, which happens really quickly with acrylic paint. So even if I wasn't short on time, I would still have to work quickly. While I'm working on this, I don't like this one shade of green. It isn't mixing as well as I'd like, and it's making the Green Ranger look like he's got too much light in front of him, which makes him look flat. So I'm gonna cover this up with a better tone. This is a much better green, and it's looking a lot better already. But that took up some time I didn't really have, so now I've gotta get back to filling in as much of this painting before I'm done for the day. I've done as much as I can for today, so I'm gonna go to bed, and then tomorrow I'll get this painting finished. So I probably should have picked a simpler project because I'm losing a lot of time painting in all of this detail. But if I work quickly, I should be able to get this done.
One technique that I really like to use when I don't have much time is to switch sides of my painting. Instead of using a hairdryer or just waiting for the paint to dry, I'll paint one side of the canvas and while it dries, I'll switch paints and work on the other side. Throughout the process of this painting, I'm not going to lie, it's been a little intimidating. I'm working off an old poster of the Green Ranger and in an art style that I haven't used in a long time, so I'm really challenging myself with this piece. Usually I like to exaggerate characters' features, paint them in different styles, or do a mashup with another character, but this piece is more of an impressionist portrait, which I've only done a few times. So this project is a little outside of my comfort zone, but the more I work on this painting, the more amazing it looks. And even if I didn't think it looks great, I'm out of time. So that's it for this painting, or depending on how you look at it, that's it for this half of this painting. I wasn't able to finish both canvas, but the one that I really wanted to finish is done so I can go and get it signed. Then I'll be able to tear it open and finish this project. As always, an enormous thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are the best. If you want to help support this channel and my studio, go to patreon.com slash pdshawn where you can get some really cool stuff. Or you can go to pdshawn.com where you can find all of my artwork and everything ships in the U.S. for free. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.